Hey everyone. In this video, I really quickly wanted to walk through the snipping tool and clipboard history in Windows 10 and 11. We're all used to the idea of Control C, Control V. Um, this is some text. I can select it, Control A, Control C to copy it, and then Control V. I could hit the print screen to get a capture of my entire desktop. But there's also the snipping tool. Now ordinarily, if I do Windows Shift S, it brings up the snipping tool. I could then select an area of the screen and you'll notice down here in the bottom corner, I could then go and select it, which will then bring up the editor. I could draw on it in some way. I could make whatever highlighting changes I wanted. And then if I wanted to keep these changes, I would just hit Control C again to make this now the content of my clipboard, or there's the little icon up here for copy. So that's gonna do exactly the same thing. So I can easily make basic changes. Now, if I wanted to do something maybe more advanced, I could take that um, clipboard and put it into paint, maybe draw rectangular boxes, do other things to it, but it's a nice quick way to interact. But I don't have to use that Windows Shift S. Maybe I just want it to be my standard print screen. So what I can easily do is if I open settings, from settings, let's jump over here super, super quickly. If I go to accessibility, and then from accessibility, I look at keyboard. Here I can change to have the print screen button open screen snipping instead. So I've got this turned on. So again, I'm just going to settings, accessibility keyboard, and now I don't have to do Windows Shift S. I can just hit print screen and it will do that same open of the snipping tool and I could then select a certain area. It's now down here in the corner. If I wanted to edit it, I could. If I don't want to edit it, I don't have to do anything. I can now just hit Control V. That's what's in my clipboard. It's super easy to use. So that's part one. Hey, the snipping tool, a really nice utility to help modify and just work with things. Now I can open up the snipping tool directly and you'll see here the three dots. I do have certain settings. So in the settings, I can, hey, automatically copy changes that I make to the screenshots. I could save them. So from there I could save it to a file. I can ask to save if I've edited something in there, open up separate windows for each screenshot, add a border if I wanted to. There's different things I can do around that. But it's a really nice little tool and it's just built in. Now the other part here though is I've done my screenshot and then I'm making some text and I control C. Well now I've overwritten that previous clipboard content I had and I was like, oh, I really didn't mean to do that. So now if I do control V, well, I've lost that screenshot that was really critical to what I was doing. Well, there's another great setting. So if I again bring up settings, and this time if I just go to system, I'm in here, and I go to clipboard, one of the things we can turn on is this idea of clipboard history. Now I have other options. I could sync across devices. I don't want to do that. There are suggested actions. But if I turn on this clipboard history, what it's now going to do, instead of having to do control V, if I don't want the last item, but instead I want to go back up to 25 items, and I think it's four megabytes or less, it could be text, HTML, uh, bitmaps, they're all supported. I can now select which item in my clipboard I want. So if I now do Windows key V, you notice I now have my history of content in my clipboard. So again, if I jump down here to the bottom, I can see details of all the different things and I can select the one I want. If there's clipboard contents I constantly need to use, I can pin it because by default, it's gonna only keep the last 25 items and then it would overwrite the oldest one in the clipboard. But if I pin something, it won't rotate it out. It would keep it within there. If there's something I don't want, then again, if I do Windows key V, I can hit the three dots. And from here, I could delete it. Again, so you've got the delete. Hey, I can have that pin icon. I could clear them all. 
with the clear all option. So I have many different things that I can do with this new clipboard history. And notice I've got a paste as text as well. So sometimes um, you'll have formatting if I capture text and it pastes very funny. I don't want that. Well, I can actually just do a paste as text directly. So now if I'm in my paint, for example, if I just do Windows V, I can say, actually, I want that clipboard item. And now that's what it pastes in. Likewise, if I was back in my text over here or Windows V, um, okay, I want this text, but I want it to just paste as text. There we go. So that clipboard history is actually really powerful. I can still just do control V and I'll get the last item I used, but that ability to actually go back in history and do that little bit of manipulation potentially, I think that's really, really powerful. So that was it. That's all I wanted to show. Uh, I think it's a really powerful set of features. The snipping tool with print screen and then turning on that clipboard history, it just makes things a lot easier. So that was it. Until next video, take care.